Nomtop here, and I have with me the Falcon Eyes SO 48 TD. Look how thin this thing is. Now it's got this power pack on here, but look at that. That is crazy. What? What? This is a side lit LED softbox. It's referred to as a flapjack light. Kind of comes in a box that looks a lot like a pizza box. Hey, did somebody order a pie? I got a Falcon Eyes 48 TD. Flapjack, it's good. 48 does not stand for how many inches across this is. It's actually a 48 watt light. There's 240 LED lights all around the inside edge. And the cool thing about it, it's dimmable. And it's by color. Before I get into all the specs and all the detail, first off, I just wanna say that the light's a little expensive, so be ready for the price tag on this thing. Falcon Eyes sent me this light to check out. Well, you know what? Let's just throw some light. Even though this is an LED light, I'm comparing it with a fluorescent light, mostly because of the box lightness. Typically, a big box light is gonna be a fluorescent light if you have a cheaper kit. You can see how large the box is of the soft box compared to this super clean and refined circular Falcon Eyes light. Now, I have both lights about the same distance away, eight feet away from the subject, which is me, obviously. As you can see here, there's the fluorescent light. That's what it looks like. And there is the Falcon Eyes LED soft light. Things to look for here in the shadows. Look at the box light, there's some of the shadows and the way the fluorescent lights kind of fall off there. And that's what the Falcon Eyes light looks like right there. As I mentioned, this light has some features by color. It can change color temperature from 3000 all the way up to 5600 Kelvin, which is pretty amazing to have that full range of color. And you can see here, I mean, it changes. It goes from a crystal blue outdoor daylight all the way into an incandescent warm light. One of the other cool features that I haven't seen anyone talk about with this light is the fact that you can pan this thing up like this, similar to like how you'd have a table, turn it on, and now you have a display to light stuff from underneath. Now this could be on set, you could disguise it and use it for a prop, or just for product photos, it gives you an amazing adjustable table light. And that alone is pretty cool and just shows you some of the versatility and opens up a whole new area of creativity when using a light like this. Now you can use a box light, but you're at the mercy of the fabric giving a little, and you can see there. And I know people that have used that as a backlight when they take photographs and B-roll videos, but this, this is a hard plastic. This little antenna right here plugs in the back right here, and you can use it on your light to sync up multiple lights. The touch display on the back illuminates, so you can see it in the dark, and the tap controls work really well. I didn't have any problems with it. You can adjust the temperature, and you can also adjust the dimmability, as well as the channel that your light's on when you have them all synced up in a room. The light comes in its own carrying case, it's really thin, you can see it packed up here. It comes with the power pack, power cable, this little V-mount for the power pack, and additional purchase, you can get batteries, and there's room in the case for additional batteries there and little extras that you might need. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, this U-bracket is aluminum, it's plastic on the backside here, but this is an aluminum casing and it's not hot at all, which is really cool. It also comes with this little V-mount power pack holder. You slide that right in like this. As far as the dimensions of the light, 19 inches by 19 inches by four inches thick if you include this little power pack on the back. This light is a little bit more expensive than your typical light. I know I haven't been in the market for anything this expensive, but having had the chance to use it and really try it out, it's making me rethink how I wanna invest in lights in the future because seeing the quality of the build and the aluminum construction of this light the ease of use and just being able to set this thing up and tilting it like this, tilt it up. That versatility is amazing. You don't realize how large one of those softbox lights are until you start using something as clean and thin as this light here. So form factor for sure, this thing is amazing. But one of the cool features is that it has a push button, very easy to tap and adjust color balance. So you can get your Calvin temperature exactly the way you want it to match room color, like in this case, I have this incandescent light. If you wanna bring the light from daylight and match the indoor light, boom, you got it. And here's another example where you can see that I have daylight coming through the window, we have incandescent in the back, 
Bring the color in, adjust the Kelvin temperature, bring up the brightness, boom. This thing has a really unique look on camera as well, not just from the camera's perspective, but from the talent's perspective. It has a really cool professional look. And I know that's not entirely the reason to invest in a light, but when you're on set and you have this big, soft, square box flopping around, or this refined, rigid, circular light, this light is definitely going to give you a production value on set that looks very clean and efficient, especially if you're running everything off batteries and you have a couple of these set up. I mean, that is clean. Look at that. Wouldn't it be crazy if this thing like dimmed like a moon? So as you slowly dimmed it down, it just looked like a lunar eclipse. <laughs> I don't know if that'd be cool or not, but this is what it would look like if it did. Some of the samples that I did, I was complete darkness and I did at night. This is daytime, so you get a little bit of light coming in, but this is what it would look like if it was just the falcon eyes light shining at me. This light is above me. This is over six feet tall. I, you can't make these kind of adjustments with a box light. You just couldn't. You would have to get a ladder and do this. Let's put this out of frame. There it is, there's the light. It's sitting right here, shining down. Gives you an idea. I made that adjustment pretty quick. This is the setup that I had. You can see that was the angle that I put. All right, there's our intense side light. Now let's just bring it in. So let's lower it. It's almost out of the shot. Let me just back it up a little bit. So that's how quickly I made a low light. <laughs> See, having this kind of speed and versatility with your lights, I believe it opens up opportunity for creativity because you don't have to, you're not fighting time. Let's just do this, boom. There, now it's a backlight. So some of the things I don't necessarily love about the light, this power pack, which has to be here, it's a converter pack, it's kind of bulky. This thing would be amazingly thin if they could somehow figure out how to condense this or maybe spread it out. So if it was like a thinner box that took up more space, I think that would be cooler. That's just aesthetically. Something else I'd like to see, I wish it had a remote. For those of you that do vlogs or film yourself solo, you know how nice it is to have a remote. Like right now, I'm shooting with my Panasonic G85 and I'm remotely operating it with the app. I would love it if this light had some sort of app or, and I don't know if this is possible, maybe they make this, if they had a connector extension that I could plug this in, remove this, and I could make my adjustments handheld, set it down, and light my scene while I'm sitting in it, that would be amazing. That's again, just something I'd like to see. That's not really a major issue with the light itself. I understand in a professional setting, you'd probably have crew hands being able to make all those adjustments for you, but I'm just thinking of those of you that do YouTube videos and if you're just on a minimal crew, which is pretty much just you. One of the downsides is the batteries don't come with it. I tried to test the length of how long these batteries would last in the light. Unfortunately, I fell asleep, and when I woke up, it was out a few hours later. So it's somewhere between an hour or three hours. I'm not exactly sure. The additional batteries that you can purchase are linked in the description below, and they're falconized, they're branded. These are just your typical NP F960 batteries, and you do need both of them to be connected to the box. I would recommend if you were gonna get some of these batteries, get four of them, because they take a long time to charge. So I would definitely say buy four and be charging two while these ones are in use. There's a little battery meter that shows you how much battery juice is left. I do wish that that was percentage and accurate. Something else that's worth mentioning, I know I mentioned this light is expensive. The smaller version, the SO25, that comes in at a pretty reasonable price. And you, like I said, you can check the link in the description. Something that is really cool is the light, literally. The fluorescent lights, they get pretty warm, like peeking in here, you can feel the heat coming out. This, I had this light on for hours and you cannot feel the heat on it. So it is legit cool light. I mean, having used the light and getting a chance to actually work with it and just, I love when it's on batteries and it's completely wireless. I want all my lights to be wireless like this. It has 360 degree rotation with the batteries. You can adjust it any way you want. I have seen this light mounted. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> I just had I just had flashbacks. Whew. Okay. So as I've gone on and on about this light, I wanted to show you guys some basic examples of how the light is used in normal conditions. I know I talked about some of the practical aspects of being able to turn this thing on its side and using it as a table for a backlight or for product shots, which I think is amazing. I love that you can dim the light, change the intensity of it, and you can change the Kelvin temperature, which is super cool. 
As I said earlier in the video, Falcon Eyes sent this out for me to review and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I wanted to say thanks to them. Be sure to check out the links in the description to find out more about this product, the batteries, and if you wanna watch any other videos about this and see it in action, lighting in an actual studio setting and some other ways you can use the light and see how it performs in professional situations. Thanks for watching. Nop Top, go make something.